chapter one, we talked about the landscape of the issues with KYC. Now we're going to talk about the challenges for global banks. So, but what would you say are the biggest issues for, for banks that are operating all around the world? What are the biggest issues for their KYC compliance? Well, I would say if you look at the big institutions, they, they operate global businesses, which basically means that they need to comply with, with various regulatory requirements, whilst at the same time, they also need to deal with, with the correspondent banking uh, network, so financial institutions in different parts of the world where there might be less transparency and less regulatory scrutiny. Uh, so that might sometimes be conflicting. Uh, what is also clear is that a lot of those global banks, they operate into multiple jurisdictions, mm -hmm. uh, which basically means that they need to comply with various, sometimes slightly contradictory uh, regulations. Can you give an example of that then, where there, there might be a conflict or contradiction? Well, I, I guess without going into, into specific uh, examples, if, if you were a, a UK branch of a, of a US uh, institution, and you were in the process of onboarding or remediating a, a correspondent banking relationship, what you will need to make sure is that you comply uh, with the regulations and the requirements that have been set by the FSA, whilst at the same time you also need to ensure that you work within the regulatory firm framework that has been defined by the US authorities. Um, so definitely this is also an, an interesting and an important challenge. And then of course what you have on the other side is that you have those smaller correspondent banks who might show uh, a lack of, of knowledge, a lack of understanding and a lack of uh, willingness to basically participate to the KYC uh, process that the big bank has to follow according to its own local market. So with all these complexities, I mean, for banks operating all over the world, they've got all these different things to think about. Has it affected the kind of business that they choose to do? Has it affected the bank's behaviours or choice of the kind of business they do? Well, I think for sure there has been more and more involvement and activities around around compliance, um, and and this is there also has been more regulatory um, controls, and basically what the banks are starting to do is to is to review basically their correspondent banking relationship network and so they are looking for ways to reduce costs they are looking for ways to reduce uh, risk and this has led to the to the famous de-risking where basically banks they are also reviewing their own risk appetite and they're basically sometimes trying to avoid risk to, rather than trying to manage risk so this of course has had its implications of financial institutions being cut off from the from the financial ecosystem and second point i think in addition to that there has also been a um, a cry for more transparency, where basically banks are putting uh, stronger expectations on other financial institutions in terms of providing more uh, sensitive information. One example that, that I would like to highlight is, for instance, looking into uh, kind of thresholds for providing information around ultimate beneficial ownerships. There we gradually see that that barrier has been uh, increasing. Are there any other complexities? So you're talking about the sort of transparency and all the different jurisdictions where there might be contradictions. Are there any other issues of the complexities that big banks have to deal with? Well, I would say one of the biggest one is the inefficiencies. Um, so throughout the, the years, banks really have been uh, developing their approach in isolation, trying to be as effective as possible, but in that sense, a bit disregarding any type of standardizations or cost efficiency. And basically what, what is happening is if you as a smaller correspondent, you reach out to a bigger bank to rely on some of his services or his global reach, that um, global bank will basically provide a list of requirements to which you need to fulfill. Uh, and that will apply for all of their correspondence. So there is really a back and forward of, of KYC related information, chasing, following up in, in specific formats. Uh, so there is definitely a lot of inefficiencies that, uh, that we have tried to address as well through the registry.